We have breeding! Breeding! There's a baby farmer! Oh, uh, yeah. There he is! Success! See a creeper right outside here. Oh, no, you don't. Alright. Now, I need to try to get the baby and the priest to not be in here. And keep the adult farmer out here. And have the farmer throw food to the baby and the priest. So, no one interfere with what I'm doing right now. This is kind of tricky. Bump, bump moving villagers is difficult. And they will, they will like stand still while you bump them, and then suddenly run off. With no warning. Alright. Well, whatever. You can say, hang out there. They'll eventually go into here. They are kind of cute. Look at that. He's so cute. Ooh. Oh. I thought of a flaw in my plan. Oh, it's a terrible flaw. Villager can just run over. The, the baby villagers can just run over this. They're one block high. Because uh, he's only one block high. It has to be. That's why the other one had it, like, down a level. Well, it can still be done. <laughs> There's another baby inside here. And the other farmer never got thrown any food, so. I'm pretty sure my thing is working. The babies can't jump over here. This guy can throw them carrots, and they'll breed. The simple breeder. I like it. If you look at this, you'll see we are just now finishing the library. Boom. Done. Now, the other two ones, the temple, blacksmith shop, I am not going to actually finish right now. I'm gonna go there, I'm just gonna throw a half-assed roof, wall around the outside edge, and call it a day. That way I can start getting villagers into their more permanent places. Sound like a good idea? I think so. I think we're calling this done. The library. I will put Enchanty Temple there. But, not yet. There'll be some little seating areas up on top. Just to hang out and read your books. And a way to get up. But it's closed, so villagers can't go that way. Just for real people, not villagers. Alright. On to the next step. Well, this iron fire should be pretty much up and running. Some guys trapped in this particular house. The butcher shop. Got a guy over here. And a guy over here. And a guy down here. These guys distributed, trapped in mine carts and little dents in the floor. They should keep all these doors active. All the doors should be active. All should be in the right place. Golems should start spawning there. To wait for them to finish breeding up. Moved them basically as soon as they had bred. So I was kind of slowing down the breeding rate. Should breed up to like 25 or so. Max out. They seem slow. I understand why they're so slow. I might just be impatient. And there's things like this. Why is this spot not hard? Why, why doesn't he plant these? He should be planting these. He is planting and harvesting. I've seen him do it. I didn't plant, plant all this. I planted just a few last time. But he's doing it. And there is, of course, the final bit. Roughed in. I finished all this off, but functioning bits are there. So, in theory, golems will start falling down. Iron will collect. Hopefully, those guys will breathe. So, I went to sleep last night. At that time, there were, you know, like, 
five villagers, six villagers, something like that. Well, when I did that, everything was all set up. They were they probably should have been doing some breeding. Running this range, so if there were enough of them, iron golems would start spawning. And I wish let this thing run for you know several hours. Let's see what we got. Bam. That's iron. That is a successful iron farm. Apparently they read up. Excellent. Iron. We live in a new age of iron.